Welcome to the project demonstration of antenna positioning controlling system by using IoT technology with the Blink application and also we are going to store the environmental parameters like humidity, temperature from this uh, DST11 sensor and uh, light intensity from the LDR sensor. These two sensors provide us the three parameters and that will be continuously monitored and stored in ThinkSpeak Cloud Platform and also same will be displayed on the LCD screen. So the sensors and uh, like a Wi-Fi module along with the LCD display interface to the PIC 16F72 microcontroller which will take the input from this input modules and provide us the same status output and also here a Wi-Fi module is input and output module. So to get the reading from the Blink application, sorry, to get the input from the Blink application to control this antenna position in forward, backward, left, right angle uh, setting purpose and the same thing it can upload, upload the data of the sensors to the ThinkSpeak Cloud Platform. So to control these two DC motors to control antenna positioning, we have uh, interfaced the L293D motor driver which is uh, taking input signal from the microcontroller and controller two DC motors at a time. So coming to the interfacing connections, we have interfaced the A0 pin for this LDR module. This is the LDR module interfaced for the A0 and LCD pin number B22, B7 and B0 for this THT11 humidity temperature sensor and C6, C7 for the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and C0 to C3 for this L293D motor driver. So let us see the demonstration. Before on the kit, we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. So the first step is change the hotspot settings to the project 5497 without any space, without any capital letters. So configure that too. Project 5497 and the password should be 12345678 and AP band should be 2.4 GHz. After this setting successfully done, now log in to the Blink application from the given credentials. As you can see the device is offline now. And next log in to the ThinkSpeak Cloud Platform. Right, so you can see this page. Click on Antenna. We will get the waveforms of the sensors data. So these are the sensors data previously we have uploaded while we are testing and there is the first field is the humidity, second is temperature, third is the light intensity. Right. So if you want to erase this and to get the new live data, so before erasing you can take the backup, download the data for that, download and we can open this. So it will be open in Excel sheet. So it consists of number of samples along with the date and time and the first field is humidity, temperature and the next light intensity. Now after you downloaded that, to erase that go to channel settings, data input export to download the data, channel settings to clear in that the last only clear the channel, don't do any other options, clear the channel, done. Next go to private view, now we can see the total data got erased. Now uh, as we have on the hotspot and data, now you can on the power supply to this sketch. So once we on that, the welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen. Right. And uh, first one is the temperature and the percentage of humidity and light intensity level. So if I cover this sensor, we can see the light is decreasing. So the data should be uploaded to the ThinkSpeak Cloud Platform for every 15 seconds. We see we got the new data. When you click on this, we can see the sensor. While scrolling, don't touch the blue bar. Above the blue bar, you can use for scrolling purpose. Right, so light data is there. So this is the continuous process for uploading the data to the ThinkSpeak and coming to the controlling of the antenna position now go to blink application so now there is no offline mark on this monitoring section click on that here we can get the live parameters things speak for storage purpose so we can get the live parameters from the blink uh, like uh, sensors data same thing humidity temperature and the next is the light intensity to control this so there we can see the four buttons forward backward left right so just click on once
wait, I forgot to mention that. So when we see the uh, like uh, offline mark was gone, then we need to reset this microcontroller. So after resetting that, then only it can read the input from the Blink application to control the DC motor. So I am controlling the forward. So it is controlling the forward. So provide the input for controlling this DC motors for every one second duration, not in the fast. Provide one second duration so that we can control that flawlessly. So every time it will rotate at the angle of 5 to 6 degrees when we provide the input to that on the left. And the right angle. Right. So here we are using the blink application for live parameters monitoring. At the same time, uh, things peak to store the so-called parameters of humidity and temperature. Continuously it will be done.